Well, it was an interesting day on, on Thursday because it sure started off like we were going to have some very, very, well, probably disturbing news to talk about involving the San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick. Then the next level of the story was, uh-oh, there's a Seahawks involved, Ricardo Lockett. And then finally, as time went on, you realize the third part of the story is, hold on a second, we don't really even know what this story is. Yeah, it, it was an odd, I mean, the initial headline on the whole thing was that Colin Kaepernick was being investigated for a sexual assault, uh, and then as we read further, Ricardo Lockett's name came up in connection. In fact, it took place at his apartment in Miami, and then as the day went on, it was very, made very clear by the Miami Police Department that it was in fact not investigating a sexual assault, it is just an incident report, which is a clear distinction. Doesn't mean, you know, as they investigate, other things won't come up, but you know, it's it's a weird thing because we're so in the mode of hating the 49ers and Kaepernick at, at your initial reaction is, ah ha, he's in trouble, good. But then, I mean, for me, I was kind of like, well, if it's true, that means somebody was victimized here. Right. A woman was victimized, so that's not good. Uh, the other part of it is, is there's a Seahawk involved in this in Ricardo Lockett. Now, again, for those that read the details of it, there aren't really any details. It was, no. she was there, they were drinking, they were smoking weed, she passed out on the bed, and next thing she knew, she woke up in a hospital. There's no detail from where she passed out to the hospital. So we don't, we don't know what she's alleging, we don't know what happened, we don't know if she had physical injuries, nothing. I mean, so there's very little to the story right now, but it's never good. Even if they walk away from this and there's no evidence and nothing happens, just having your name attached to this, whether you're Kaepernick or Lockett, it's a bad deal. It's well, a bad deal. Let's face it, part of it is going to be, you know, let, let's, let's, let's assume Pollyanna for a second and say, hey, this winds up being nothing. And as we said, it's not being reported as a sexual assault or anything like that. It winds up not being a big story. All right, I understand you used to be roommates, but now you're supposed to be bitter, hating enemies. What are you doing hanging out with? I understand you used to be you know, best friends, but you can't be anymore. Don't you think there'll be a little bit of reaction to like that, too? What's he hanging out with Kaepernick still? Yeah, let's hope all of that other stuff's not true. Then we get to the real meat of the story. The, the most disturbing portion is how could you possibly be friends with that guy? Exactly.